Okay, just drop Richie off at the hospital. Um, I see the, the coronavirus pods outside of the the emergency war, uh, section is empty today, so there's nobody in there at the moment being checked anyway. Uh, still quiet. Let's see how it is later. What I do see is still a lot of denial out there in public places with regards to uh, social contact, social distancing as they say and, and, and um, really only going out of the house if it's really necessary, you know, buying food, going to the pharmacist or going, doing an essential job which is very important. Um, and although I can see plenty of people that are taking taking lead and, and doing things sensibly, there's still many, many who aren't, um, which is, you know, very concerning because I would have thought the message now was out there very clearly that uh, there's no messing around with this. We have to, we have to be sensible and, and keep ourselves to ourselves or certainly within our own family units and, and, and not go out unless it's absolutely essential. Um, getting back to the home, and I, I, on my first diary episode I sent out a couple of days ago, we talked about the the things you can do in your own home to make it safe, to protect it, to protect the people that are in it. And I want to just re-emphasise those points again. You know, washing down doors, door handles in particular, light switches, creating sort of vacuum areas where people come in take off their footwear because footwear is quite a quite an important factor to consider when you're coming in off the off the public streets and public shops etc and so they get organized properly getting your bathroom uh, discipline sorted out in the, within the family unit if you've got a, if there's yourself and just your partner or wife it's a little bit easier you don't you you have less concerns unless your partner is out and about in the public domain for, ne for necessity you know she's she's one of these important services that have to be have to be done in that case you have to again be very care we are very careful here because Richie is in the NHS um, we are we are taking whatever precautions we can to keep keep it safe in the home and obviously safe outside when she has to go out as well I must say, you know, despite all the negative um, things I hear on in the in the news about uh, the NHS not being ready, um, certainly from her point of view, she's saying you know they've got some very good um, things going on in the NHS, which are making it making it uh, useful. Um, I mean, the unfortunate thing is, it, well, unfortunate, unfortunately, at least it's, it isn't raining. I know, but it's a beautiful, beautiful weather we're having at the moment, and of course, we we're restricted very much what we can do in the weather. Um, but there is the garden and I, I guess as time progresses I will be doing a lot more in the garden um, if we you know if fit enough to do so of course um, that's that's going to be key um, Roxanne you know our, our 18 year old here is she's she's suddenly become a lot more sensible now she's suddenly picked up on that the the network has worked has started to play positively her network where she was sort of regarding it as a bit trivial a lot of these precautions are weaker now she's now leading the way in making sure everything is locked down and now i'm the one that's uh, dicing with risk <laughs> in her eyes whereas a week ago i was being over I was over the top. Now suddenly I'm dicing with risk because I'm having to take mum to work, as it were, and uh, <laughs> which um, you know one's just got to manage these things sensibly. I think that's what's important. Um, mentally, I, I can you know I, we're fine. We've got lots to keep ourselves busy. We've got things we're working on anyway around the around the businesses and around the 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 family um, everyone's got interests that they can pursue at home plus you know the one good thing about 
social networks is people can still talk to each other their friends are still talking with friends out there over the channels so as long as that doesn't f go down we're, we'll all be fine um, but I do fear for some people you know people particularly who are living on their own people that are in their sort of latter years that are basically have the television as a means of comfort and um, you know have to rely on themselves to get their food and and, and having difficulty in, in getting it because this is a problem and I think we'll as the as the weeks progress we'll have to look out for more and more people that are out there that are very much dependent on getting things my phone always rings when these things happen let me just oh it's my wife hello I'm just making a video diary at the moment again well every day I do it every day now just to keep updating uh, friends and family around how are things there quiet still mm -hmm. right okay Oh, so so nobody. It's not that bad. It's the same number, you so know, from yesterday. Seven. Yeah. Seven people have what tested positive. <coughs> no, no, no. Those that's a positive. Those seven. Are, the seven are positive. Same but, as yesterday, yeah. Yeah, but the staff, the, the others are all negative. You're saying. Yeah, sixty. They sent sixty in total for yeah. testing. Right. Twenty came back. Right. Negative. So they're still waiting for the result of the rest. Forty. Okay. And how about the triage area? Is that is that under pressure yet? No, it's very quiet. Is it? Yeah, I saw that when I was leaving. I was, I was mentioning that in my diary as well. It was very quiet. Very quiet. Okay. And and people in my ward are all going home now. Are they? Yeah. Oh right. <laughs> what going home early, being pushed out by the by by you no, guys? No, 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 no. But oh. they're better, you know. Oh, they're better. Longer. Okay. Yeah. Good. So they're going home. Good. Good. Okay. So I've got two that's going home today again. So I'll have. Only like 15 left. Yeah, just, just, I, just, I, you know, I don't want to say temp fate here, but uh, I think it's just to make ready for what's coming in the next in the next week. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not working then. No, oh, I'm working next. Yeah, you're working. You're only off for three days, aren't you? <coughs> yeah, no, yeah. six days. Six days. Oh, six days. Yeah. And then you're on holiday, aren't you, for a couple of weeks? Yeah. Well, that might be cancelled. I don't. <laughs> no, I don't think so. You don't, oh well, I, I, I think so. If they, you're calling back the, the the retirees. I mean, surely the people that are there, they're going to have them. You know, I don't know. Look, I, yeah, I'm, but they're they're not doing anything. That's why they are. <laughs> yeah. But the reason why somebody apply for annual leave is because they're doing something, no? Yes. Hmm. Anyway, I'll let you get on. And they are retirees are there at home, not yeah. doing anything. Like like Mr. Chris Blanchard, you mean? <laughs> No, yeah. <laughs> um, oh, I think it's going to be useless anyway. So that woman next to you, to us, she's a nurse, isn't it? Uh, oh yes, yeah, next to uh, here, on our right-hand side, you mean? But you they're mean, on holiday, so... Yeah, they're away. They're, they're, yeah. yeah. Well, chin up, as they say. I will, I will, I'm, I'm, ve I'm, wor I'm working very hard. I've got the vacuum cleaner in one hand and a duster in the other as I speak to you. Oh, he's excellent. He, he's got a duster in it, both his hands, and he's cleaning the windows. Really? No. <laughs> Talk to you later. <laughs> Have you, has he had his breakfast? He's had his breakfast, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, then. Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, if you want to have that chicken soup, it's in the fridge. Yeah, no, I'll wait for you to come home. No problem. Okay. All right. All right. See you, bye. Bye-bye. Love you, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Love you. Bye-bye. Okay, well, you heard you heard most of that conversation, and it's as I thought the case was, where it's going reasonably well in there at the moment. But again, it's we're in a we're in a quiet part of the UK in comparison with what's happening in London and Birmingham, for example. So we're not in a city environment, but it's going to affect the whole country. What's coming is obviously going to affect the whole country, and we've got to we've got to wake up to the fact the the worry I, I saw a lot of people in London who have second homes um, 
have all been flying out of London, which is a very highly populated area and, and obviously where the virus is, is at its, it's about a week or two weeks in, you know, in advance there and compared with the rest of the country. And they've all been rushing down to places like Devon and Cornwall where their, where their second homes are and holiday homes and Wales and places like this. From here, there's a lot of people that have been rushing off to their second homes on the East Coast in Mablethorpe and Skegness and Scarborough and places like that. And it's, um, <clears throat> I mean, that's worrying because I mean, the, those services, the NHS services that are, that are providing a service, support service in that part of the world are really there to support the people, the local people, that's what they're geared for. And suddenly having thousands of people rocking up and staying there because they think it's a safer place than being in the city. Well, actually, they could be spreading the virus around even, you know, and that's a bit of a concern. And it has been mentioned on the on the news. I'm no real lockdowns yet or and no martial law have been put in place or anything of that level. And I sort of wonder how long it will be before those sort of measures start being taken, because clearly until there is a, a, a an antidote, the only way you can you can you can the only thing you can really do to su is to suppress the virus to ensure fewer people get it in in a short period of time which puts you know pressure on the nhs so you've got to suppress it by keeping out of people's way it's a shotgun approach i know to how you handle a, a problem against micromanaging it but without the 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 sufficient testing to home in on areas and, and and say right here's an you know we can test these people and get this area sorted out and people who have got the who have had the disease who aren't positive obviously they can get back into the work situation quickly um it was a good richie saying there that they've tested quite a few people there now and and uh, you know of the or the 60 they tested majority were negative and only the seven were 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 positive so that's that's good news at this stage anyway of the game i like to have good news um anyway we'll see how the day progresses um people are finding different activities to do um now there's this sort of more staying at home lifestyle of trying to avoid contact with as with too many people so you know, locking yourself down to to do things that you wouldn't have normally done in the past um my my sister and uh, her husband have taken up the creativity of making and wearing strange masks around the house have a look at this yeah Somehow, you know, I can see that taking on over over time because um, there's some quite nice designs there. Um, another activity which I think is going to probably take more more convincing for people to get involved in is one of my partner Sean um, has taken up the art of stunt st <laughs> stunt work with his with his vehicle. Um, he's, he's, he's participating in, in it uh, as where he drives the vehicle and then he, he also acts as the passenger. Um, uh, this is a result of, of his first day on the job. Well basically he's now, he's, obviously his car is no longer um, available so he's now working with his partner's car to Sally's to actually uh, see what he can do with that. Um, and what he's asked me is if anyone who's got uh, their vehicle and he would like them to have a look at it and see what he can do to improve its efficiency with only one person in it instead of two, um, bring it along and him, he'll, he should be able to sort that out as well like he's done with his.